Well, good afternoon, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, Facebook friends, Instagram friends, LinkedIn friends, YouTube friends. Friends, are you having a good week? Are you staying positive? Are you staying healthy? Are you getting wealthy? Everyone thinks about money, right, when you talk about wealth. But you know what? Wealth is so much more than just the money. You know, some of the richest people in the world, all they have is money. And money doesn't buy you happiness. But I'd rather cry in my Lexus than on a bus. I'd rather drive than sit on the underground. But anyway, um, I got inspired. You know, when I come on Facebook Live, I'm always fired up excited and i've got something to share with you and guess what it's from the best book in the world you know what that book is the number one seller it's from the bible i have read quite a lot of books and because i believe in the importance of personal development to have more you first got to become more do you know what i'm saying um leaders are readers if you're going to be a leader it means you're a, a person of influence and uh, as my old pastor said if you're empty-headed before you're spirit-filled, you'll be empty-headed afterwards. So it doesn't matter how much of the Holy Spirit you have and all of that. It doesn't matter how much you pray in tongues and do all of this and you can do all these amazing things. But if you don't have the knowledge and uh, we've got to be students of the book, get our face in the book, not just on Facebook. But anyway, that's uh, for someone out there. Uh, isn't it easy just to like, scroll through their feed and just but it's something easier to do that than read the good book the bible so i read in the book of ecclesiastes let me read this to you what does this mean i'm trying to figure it out as well myself but i've got some thoughts i want to share with you i hope it's going to help you ecclesiastes chapter 11 now put this in context this book is full of a lot of wisdom there's lots of interesting things in here but the books of wisdom are very important we need wisdom so that we can make good decisions because your life my friend is the result of the decisions that have been made and you can't control the decisions of other people right you can only control your decisions and we need wisdom and we need strength and sometimes we need faith and we need guts and we need bravery and boldness to make sometimes difficult decisions. And if you, if you just do what feels good and what's comfortable, guess what? You're not really going to grow. Growth only happens when you're outside your comfort zone. So if you're in a situation right now where you're being stretched, you're, you feel some pressure, maybe there's some wind in your face, well, that could be a really good thing. The decision is down to you. How are you going to respond to it? Okay. Now, wisdom in the Bible, Jesus is personified as he is wisdom. Okay. So when you read, Jesus is wisdom. He is life. He is love. So if you want to know wisdom, then know Jesus. Okay. So that's a very important topic. Some might agree. We might agree to disagree. But hey, I would just go and test it. Just test it out. How, 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 do you just, how do you decide if anything is good, right? You might read about something. You might hear someone you trust talk about it. But at the end, they go and test it. You know, this car that I'm sitting in, you know, these seats, these airbags, uh, they've been tested, right? You wouldn't get to production if it hadn't been tested, okay? The, the leather binding in this Bible, it's been tested and that's why it's good quality, it lasts. Anyway, a worn out Bible normally belongs to someone who's not worn out, okay? What's that quote? A well used Bible. Oh yeah, a Bible that's falling apart probably belongs to someone who isn't. <laughs> yeah, this is quite a new Bible. But anyway, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 11. Decisions, okay? You've got to make the right decisions. How do you make good decisions? You need the courage and conviction and wisdom. But wisdom is applying knowledge correctly. So if you don't know much, 
well then you're just going to be guided by your feelings and emotions like oh i feel like doing this well guess what you're soon going to come to ruin it's like the man that built his house on the sand the wind and the waves came and the floods came and the house fell down because it was just built on a, a, a sandy foundation but you got to build on a rock you got to build on a solid foundation so build your life upon what it says in here and all the books out there on personal development, on wealth, on business and leadership, all of the good stuff, it all comes out of this book. So this book is so powerful. So Ecclesiastes chapter 11 says, cast your bread upon the waters for you will find it after many days. Give a portion to seven or even eight for you know not what disaster may happen on earth. If the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves on the earth. It's actually starting to rain. <laughs> and if a tree falls to the south or to the north, in the place where the tree falls, there it will lie. It's a funny verse. <laughs> of course it will lie there. Um, he who observes the wind will not sow, and he who regards the clouds will not reap. As you do not know the way the spirit comes to the bones in the womb of a woman with a child, so you do not know the work of God who makes everything. In the morning sow your seed, and at evening withhold not your hand, for you do not know which will prosper, this or that, whether both alike will be good. Light is sweet, and it is pleasant for the eyes to see the sun. So if a person lives many years, let him rejoice in them all, but let him remember that the days of darkness will be many. All that comes is vanity. Rejoice, O young man, in your youth, and let your heart cheer you in the days of your youth. Walk in the ways of your heart and the sight of your eyes, but know that for all these things, God will bring you to judgment. Remove vexation from your heart and put away pain from your body. For youth and the dawn of life are vanity. And in chapter 12, it's about remember the creator in the days of your youth. So if you're young, that means um, if you're 45 or younger, you are young. <laughs> I'm 41. Am I? Or have I turned just 42? 40, I'm 42. Crazy, eh? Must be getting out. Uh, anyway. Oh dear, born in 1978. All right, this is going to be a great year, 2020. I just have a feeling it's going to be a good year. I'm excited. So what does this chapter mean? Well, I was just chatting with someone just now and he was uh, just finished a business webinar and he was said that uh, he really liked what he saw. He liked the business because it would allow him to generate more streams of income. As he said, uh, somebody preached on, on this about casting your bread on the waters and you'll find it after many days. I'm not quite sure what it means. It just I just think of uh, going to feed the ducks, throwing the bread on the water for the ducks. But I don't think that's what uh, God meant. Cast your bread, like your bread is your food. Bread is like your daily bread, uh, your bread and butter. Uh, um, it's like what your work does, like your work. You feed yourself with bread, you know, you do the work, you plant the crop, you, you you manufacture bread from the grain, the flour, yeah? So I'm just unpacking it. Um, didn't really prepare any notes or anything. It's not a sermon, but I'm just speaking. Cast your bread upon the waters for you will find it after many days. It's some, give a portion to seven or even to eight for you do not know what disaster may happen. No. Anyway, I think... One application of this might be with the work of your hands, what you do to create, to feed yourself. Don't rely upon just doing one thing, day in, day out, just one thing, all right? You, you might call that, sounds a bit like a job, right? Nothing wrong with a job. I had a job for 10 years. I was a school teacher. That's why I got all this gray hair. Can you see it? <laughs> The Bible also says that grey hair is a crown of splendour. It's on the wise, so I think I have some wisdom. Anyway, so yeah, basically, don't rely upon one stream of income. So if you're watching this and you have one stream of income, then God would say, I believe, wise up, young man, wise up, young lady, wise up, old man, old man, lady, whoever you are, remember to create in the days of your youth. It's wise to have multiple streams of income. So next time one of your friends comes to you and says, hey, I've found a way to make some extra money, go and have a look. Might not be for you, 
Might be for someone else though. If you're relying upon one stream of income, it's not very wise, my friend. Why do I say that? Because I want you to join my business? No, I don't need you to join my business. But I do want you to do well in your life. And having multiple streams of income is just a good idea. You know, you don't put all your eggs into one basket as the saying goes, right? So yeah, that, that's the sort of uh, my message today. Um, be wise, wise up. Wise up, young man. Wise up, young lady. Don't put all your eggs into one basket. Surround yourself with people who are wiser than you because they will lift you up to their level. You will become the average of the five people you spend the most time with, okay? So, um, anyway, I can't click wave to all the people, but I'm just going to just wave like that. Uh, hope you're doing great. Good to see you guys on here. Hope you found something helpful. You can perhaps rewind it and see it from the beginning. But I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to leave it there. Just want to encourage you to be wise. Seek wisdom. Go after it as precious silver. Like, wisdom is more important than money, you know? <laughs> I've just remembered a quote. I don't know if you've seen this. Um, it's got a picture of a monkey and bananas, right? Now, if you put bananas in front of monkeys... What would the monkeys choose? The bananas, right? Because they, they love bananas. Oh, monkeys, they love bananas, right? If you, if you put bananas and money in front of monkeys, they will always choose the bananas because the monkeys don't know. They don't have the wisdom. They don't have the knowledge. They haven't read. They don't know that if they take the money, they can buy more bananas. Choose the money, of course, but the monkeys won't choose the money. Why? Because the monkeys are just programmed to just go and eat bananas. And, all right, I'm going to challenge some people now, <laughs> but that's what I like to do. If It's like if you are relying upon one stream of income, even if it's your business, yeah, this is what I'm passionate about. I want to focus on one thing and do it while I can't focus on many things. That's a load of rubbish. If you've got more than one child, do you love all your children the same? Yeah, and your wife? Yeah, and your husband? Do you spend equal amounts of time with all of them? No, but are you 100% committed to every single one? Of course you are. You are 100% committed to all of them. So you can do multiple things, but you just partition time, you allocate time, you allocate resources to different things. So anyway, God's given us ability, given us skill, and the key is time management. That's a very, very important thing. And that's a topic for another day. How do we manage our time? It's very, very important. How do we look after our health? What do we do with our time? Because time is going like that. It goes fast. The older you get, the faster it goes. What are we doing with our time? What are you doing with your time? Um, are you just going for the bananas? Or are you seeking for ways to develop your wisdom and get more knowledge and then apply it and the best thing to do when you've got something good is to go and share it all right jesus said it best service to many leads to greatness if you want to be great and we all want to be great nothing wrong with wanting to be great right god is great <laughs> but uh if you want to be great look for ways to serve others and to impart wisdom and knowledge and understanding educate others so I guess I was the teacher, I'm once a teacher, always a teacher, but I love to help people. And if I've been able to help you in any way through this Facebook Live, do like it, do share it, do message me, drop, drop box me, inbox me, I mean. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love to connect with people. And if you're like-minded or if you're looking for ways to develop other streams of income, then I've got a number of projects. And tonight there is going to be a big announcement on our zoom call and uh, there is still time if you're seeing this live to uh, message me and i'll send you the link to watch that zoom webinar it's gonna be very powerful it starts at 7 p.m there's a young man there who's going to be speaking for half an hour and then he's going to be showing you how you can be wiser with your use of your time you can work smarter not just harder to generate five extra streams of income that's right five you can take one or two or three but five why not hey um it might be for you it might not it doesn't really matter to me but you've got to have a look at least 
Um, so yeah, get in touch with me. I've got projects happening all around the world. Uh, it's very, very exciting times. Even though we've been in lockdown, business is growing. The doors of opportunity are there. When a lot of companies are shutting down and laying people off and furloughing, and I'm glad that I'm a part of businesses and a mission that is growing. And I believe that we are coming to some of the perhaps the end times of this world as we know it, and literally human history as we know it. Like it's in the Bible. If you go to Revelation, it's in there. Time is ticking by, guys. So do you know where you'll go when you die? Do you know for sure that if you die tonight, you go to heaven? Because my friends, the Bible says, don't argue with me, argue with the Bible. The Bible says that only those that call on the name of the Lord Jesus as their Lord and Saviour will be saved, will go to heaven. It's not politically correct. I don't care. It's the truth. I believe it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. I believe it. You know? But you've got to decide what's truth, what's right. How, well, you can feel something, you can think something great, but you've got to go and back it up with evidence. So i got evidence. It's in this amazing book. And in my heart, my experiences, you know, it's not just what my dad told me, what my pastor told me. No, I've got experiences, you know. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I think that's enough for now. Have a good evening, wherever you are. Lots of love to you all. Uh, go and have an amazing uh, finish to your week. And go out there and do something positive today. Go and give something. Go and do something. Go and encourage someone today. Go and send someone a positive message. Go and check in on someone. Go and do something for someone else. All right? That's the best way to live. All right? Good. Well, have a lovely day. See you soon. God bless.